Okay, Capricorn. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I am going to start off with uh, fortune cookie oracle cards here. And uh, for those that do watch my channel, you can see I'm, I have a new setup here. It's I changed uh, areas hoping that uh, you'd be able to see the cards better this way. Okay. Property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, grab a moon oracle here. And this says, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. I know these ones are hard to see, but. Okay. Sorry. Kind of hit the camera there. So, um, for Capricorn for this upcoming week. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. And um, at the end, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. Or just a like. And uh, some of you may know, especially if you do watch my channel, that every sign has a power color and yours is gray. So, like I said, I, I won't be holding up each card um, to the camera for those of you that do, have been watching me. And like I said, hopefully you can see them okay this way. Okay. So, you have uh, air signs, water signs, earth signs, and fire signs here. Um, let's see this, what signs stand out. None really. Just all signs really are represented. Okay. Just looking at the cards here for a minute. Alrighty. Um, you guys have uh, some major arcanas. You have the magician, the hangman, and the world. So it might be some changes. It can be some indicate some changes. Oh, I was going to grab it and pick it up. I don't need to. Okay, so we start off here with the Magician. And the Magician says that if you believe it, you can do it. And uh, it's about like having skill and concentration and, you know, like putting it to action and having confidence. shows that you have what you need. You have all the right stuff. But it does say to acknowledge your inner power and potential. Okay, so if you believe it, you can do it. Next, you have the hanged man here. And the hanged man can be about like needing rest. Whether, you know, like taking a temporary pause 
or it can also just say that things are at a standstill but have patience and the value of right timing you know but it also can say that try looking at things from a different angle I don't know if you've been waiting around for something or but if you're waiting around something looks like you can make it happen on your own next is the ace of swords here and this is a card of victory it's a mental clarity and triumph over difficulties you may have have a challenging beginning but it is like I said triumph now over difficulties and time to focus on new opportunities next is the nine of cups and this card here is about like it's like wishes come true it's good fortune it's happiness it's good news it's accomplishments so especially you have the triumph over difficulties then it, having the nine of cups i like this card next is the three of cups here so with the three of cups this is about like relationships it can be relationships friendships but it's celebrating you know it can be celebrating engagements weddings pregnancies graduation something but it's celebrating and happiness and shows that people are drawn to you and some of you are kind of social butterflies some aren't but some are <laughs> and some of you also might appreciate some finer things in life okay next is the world card here so with with the world this is like journey's end it's you know like success celebration achievements and then I mentioned in triumph and I mentioned triumph over difficulties here but it's accomplishments and um, it's fulfillment like you've met your goals and established structure in your life so now you it's like you have the freedom to do whatever you want and a lot of you are totally comfortable being single also but it shows that you're in good financial shape and if you're not then it looks like you will be okay next here is the page of page of wands here and page of wands is about somebody who's usually active and energetic and if it's representing a person that's you know like a younger person who's, or might just be just energetic and act young but it's also about good news that comes in swiftly it can also represent um, travel for some and uh, others of you might have like a new kind of like an, a heightened imagination like a new level of focus going on next is the queen of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles this shows that you're again like accomplished and um, generous and this is security and abundance and shows like like you you have the resources you know or that you gather you've gathered resources or you have the resources you need And it's also um, someone who likes to help others and very hard-working person next is the seven of wands here and this is to stand up for your beliefs and to have confidence I don't know some of you maybe feel like you've been having to defend yourself lately but hold your ground with integrity and some people may want what you have also so 
But this card of just standing up for yourself and defending yourself. Okay, and I usually pull um, an extra tarot card at the end, but I'm going to do an extra oracle card from a different deck at, um, instead. And it says, the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. I know this card is hard to see. All right, you guys. Uh, again, if you liked it, you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.